Welcome to our very special episode of Discover, which is all about weddings. Cheers. Callum tells us about some of his favourite reception venues. Themis talks to a wedding planner and plans a honeymoon overseas. And Abby honeymoons interstate at the Langham, Melbourne. And me? Well, I'm taking the role of maid of honour and showing you what to book and where to book. Let's go. Planning a wedding requires a lot of work, so the bride will pass on some of the responsibilities to the maid of honour. What does a maid of honour do, you might ask? Well, besides being a support person, it's the role of the maid of honour to organise some key events. Like the bridal shower and hen's night, but how do you decide what to do and where to go? OK, so the bridal shower can take place in the host's home, which is nice and personal. But if you're wanting something a little different, why not try high tea at the Sofitel? We launched the high tea in April, uh, and it's every Sunday. And apart from the fact that it's delicious, it has a little bit of a French spin to it. So it does have the traditional scones with jam and clotted cream, but it has a croque monsieur, which is a delicious toasty with uh, ham and cheese. Uh, it has lots of items that are all made here by our pastry chef, Lydia, who's absolutely amazing. We get lots of girls coming in for high tea for various different occasions, but particularly for hen's parties, because it's a whole lot of fun. And also it's multi-generational. So you can have mum, grandma, and all the girlfriends enjoying some sweet treats and some savoury items in a beautiful background of Garçon Bleu. I can see a group of girls getting into this. And there is always the wellness idea of including a day spa. Start with bubbles and end with bubbles, literally. <laughs> So the day spa here at EOS is quite unique. Um, we have a number of wellness facilities, so you can come along with a group of friends. For a bridal shower, I'd absolutely recommend one of our spa ritual packages. Um, we have a number of ritual packages that include facials, massages, body scrubs, beautiful top-to-toe spa treatments. Um, we can use the relaxation lounge for all of the guests to enjoy together. They can enjoy champagne and something to eat in their treatments and really just enjoy that space and have that area all to themselves. That's a couple of ideas for the bridal shower. What about the hen's night? Sometimes it is a good idea to chat to an event planner. <laughs> So we plan hen's parties. So we love supporting people when they're about to get married. And look, this has been a business that's been around for 10 years. It's a family business, a mother and daughter. And really, we just make it easy. What we've noticed is people like learning things. So we've got classes and things where people can make things and discover things. We do cocktail making, we do flower crown making, we do life drawing. Life drawing, people get to see a nude model. It's very classy. We've got a skilled artists who train them in how to draw. And so they get that real experience, you get champagne, and it's just, it's really fun. Yeah, it's a really fun experience. Usually it's not the person getting married, it's usually the, you know, the bridesmaid or someone in the bridal party that'll come to us. And then we just look at what they want to do, what are the sort of things that they like doing. Sometimes they like things like dancing, they like movement, and so we'll do Bollywood dancing or burlesque, it's a bit more risky. And especially if there's people coming along to the hen's party that don't know each other very well, they're sort of different friends groups. When you're learning something like that, it's actually a really good way to connect. So they just have a lot of fun. Now that's all sorted, it's time to get some honeymoon ideas with Abby. What do you look for when planning the perfect honeymoon? It has to be a destination with a little bit of everything. Now, 
Now call me a little biased, but I love spending time here in Melbourne and there's so much to see and do from the cafes, the restaurants, the bars, the alleyways. And don't forget the shopping. The Langham Hotel is situated in the heart of everything at South Bank and is perfectly set up for your honeymoon or next special occasion. Afternoon tea is a wonderful way to start your romantic break at the Langham. London has been serving them since 1865. Cameron, tell us a little bit about your signature afternoon tea. Here in Aria Bar and Lounge, we have our signature Langham afternoon tea, mm -hmm. which offers guests a beautiful and intimate experience with our stunning three-tier high tea stand. Then we have our Schwann Spa, where couples can choose from a range of romantic spa treatments. And we also have Melba Buffet Restaurant, which sets a beautiful setting for a dinner date. Um, we actually have so many guests celebrate with us. We have a package called Celebrate Romance, which offers luxurious inclusions to create unforgettable memories. When deciding on somewhere to stay for your honeymoon, there are some very important factors to consider. Number one, is it a beautiful room? Because let's be frank, probably gonna spend a little bit of time in here. Number two, does it have a wonderful view? And number three, do they offer anything special for the married couple? At the Langham Melbourne, all of our rooms feature our custom beds, the Langham Blissful Bed. We have breathtaking views of the city and the river from the comfort of your own room. And for those looking to enhance your stay here, we have a range of add-on benefits, such as a sunset cruise on the Yarra River and champagne and caviar, which you can enjoy from the comfort of your own room. There is no doubt about it, the Langham Melbourne is the perfect destination for your honeymoon or next romantic getaway. I recently got engaged. Thanks. And we're about to get married. And now for me, the most important decision right now is trying to figure out where to go on our honeymoon. And believe me, it's not that easy. If you're wanting to book a honeymoon, I think it's really important to know what kind of holiday you're after. Do you want luxury and do you want to spend some romantic time together or do you want to do an adventure-based holiday where you're out and about all day and having a lot of fun? That really determines what kind of trip we would recommend. If you're looking for a destination that has both of those, then New Zealand is an amazing option. Um, you have cruising through the Milford Sound and Fiordlands, which is stunning, um, and going through to Queenstown, which is a beautiful city, but you can also take part in a lot of the adrenaline junkie activities there. So the canyon swing, bungee jumping, um, and plenty of things to keep you busy that way. In Queenstown, they have some stunning accommodation. Um, they also have the ski mountains there, which has a beautiful backdrop for you. You can stay in the luxury lodges um, and enjoy a nice sparkling or relax next to the fire um, and have a beautiful time. If you're after the classic honeymoon destination, you're after blue water and the sand and swimming with the fish um, and having um, a lot of privacy, um, then Tahiti would be a great option. You've got the overwater bungalows there, which means you have your own access to the ocean. You can go diving off the edge of your accommodation, um, straight back to the room to enjoy a lunch or a dinner, um, and you can really spend some quality time together. All really stunning destinations, but what if you're after something a little different? So something that's a little bit different is the Cook Islands. Um, they have the overwater bungalows there, but they also offer a lot of adventure activities, so you can go scubaing and snorkeling. And they also offer some great cultural shows, and they really allow you to experience the culture of the Cook Islands and Southwest Pacific. Best way to get there is with Air New Zealand. So you'll fly direct out of Adelaide through to New Zealand and then onto the Cook Islands from there. Weather in the Cook Islands is great. It 
ranges from the mid 20s up to 30s. Um, so you can pretty much be guaranteed that you're going to have lovely weather most of the year round, um, and it will really tie in with um, giving you a great experience and making sure you can do all the activities that you want to do. The classic honeymoon destination and some, something that a lot of people dream about is going to the Maldives. They have the really picturesque overwater bungalows. You can have your food served to you in the pool on a floating little dish. Um, you have slides that will take you off the edge of your accommodation and into the water. You have lots of little fish swimming around you. Um, so it's a really stunning destination um, and it's a really private and exclusive holiday. If you're looking for something to keep you a bit more busy, then you can go to one of the cultural shows or go to some of the little markets that they have there. Um, plenty of shopping to do and lots to learn in the cultural shows. Before I get too excited about the honeymoon, there's a bit of planning to do. And to help me, I've got Lucy. She's a wedding planner. You know, not all heroes wear capes. So a wedding planner is basically the middleman um, and the contact on the ground for everything for your wedding. So at Hygie Studio we are the wedding planners, we're the stylist, we're the graphic designers, the florist and the hire company um, that sort of coordinates, coordinates everyone that's involved in your wedding. Yeah, so it is something that um, a lot of people to and fro between thinking it's worth spending the money on and whether um, leaving it out and doing a lot themselves. Obviously planning a wedding is a very stressful time, there's a lot of people involved, there's parents, there's vendors, there's suppliers, there's the venue, there's a lot of people to keep happy and there's a lot of people that you need to navigate between. It's definitely something that we recommend having a wedding planner involved as it is the crucial middle person between making sure everything is consistent, you're happy on the day, you're relaxed. Really awesome. Yeah, I know, you deserve it. <laughs> um, so planning a wedding, whether it's here in South Australia or whether we're planning it inside Australia, there's a lot of um, bits and pieces. Again, there's moving parts um, that you want to consider. There's guests flying in, there's uh, communications between vendors. Um, what we can support with is ensuring that everything is smooth. It is what we do. We create and we have the team that are able to make it a seamless experience. I think it is making sure that you're confident with your decision of who you are booking. So do your research, look into um, your wedding vendors and making sure they're reputable. Look into other jobs that they've done, contact other people, make sure you gel because um, it is a personal thing. You've got to make sure you get along, you've got to make sure you see eye to eye and that your wedding planner and stylist understands your vision. Um, and then you do have to hand over a certain amount of trust because they know what they're doing. Therefore, I declare you to be husband and wife and Chris, you may kiss your bride. Definitely selecting local suppliers in the area that you're getting married in, whether that is overseas or whether that is interstate, knowing that they're reputable and that they are, um, you know, have proven records in the area. They know the lay of the land. They know where to get things from. They know exactly what to do. OK, so Themis has the wedding planner sorted. I want to talk about wedding venues. But before you book, there's some things to think about. And the first one is how much you want to spend. There's no point rushing around looking at all these different venues if they're outside your budget. Secondly, is the venue just for the reception or are you having the ceremony there as well? Do you want a seated or a cocktail type function? Hello. Now, Themis and I have catered our fair share of weddings, so we've seen a lot of venues, but I want to show you three that have really impressed me in McLaren Vale and one right here, five minutes from McGill. White Hill Estate is amongst gardens and heritage buildings in McLaren Vale. They offer lawn weddings under the old gum trees and can seat up to 80 guests in their quite stunning chaff shed. What I really like about White Hill Estate is just how flexible it is. There is a lot of venues where you are kind of tied into doing certain things, whereas here you really can make it your own. Whether it's a small gathering or you've got a million family and friends, you can really plan the wedding that you're after.
Next up is Lloyd Brothers with its spectacular barrel hall with amazing views of the rolling lawns. The barrel hall can cater for up to 250 people either seated or as a cocktail wedding. The venue is surrounded by a lake and by an olive grove so it gives you heaps of options for your photos. These guys have a really simple and user-friendly website. It outlines all the different options and costs which makes it super easy to understand what you're paying for. Finally, if you haven't heard of Marybank Farm, you're in for a real treat. This place is really quite unique and offers bespoke weddings for up to 80 people seated or 100 cocktail. Um, we probably do 20 to 25 um, couples a year and that's about it. They get a more personal experience. Um, they get pasted the property for three days. So accommodation is basically upstairs from where we are now. Um, so it's just for the couple. It's a full studio apartment. We've won a few awards for it and it's a nice uh, boutique sort of style. Um, we give uh, breakfast provisions, a bottle of our wine that we produce here. And yeah, it's just a nice spot for them to relax and unwind and enjoy their time. The yeah, Marybank's a, a really old property. 1842, originally the family built that and well, the Fox family took over in 1852, which is my wife's family. Uh, so it's been in our family since then. So my children are the seventh generation of this property. So we know everything about this place and we love it. And it's a beautiful place to let people see. We've got beautiful gardens. We've got six acres of garden, seven acres of vineyard up, up top and uh, people can see the whole place and wander around. Uh, suburbia is literally just here. We're 15 minutes from the uh, CBD. And we've got on one side sort of the Australiana landscape and on one side we've got manicured gardens, uh, sort of Tuscan soul gardens, I guess. So two types of weddings. We can do a cocktail style, which is a, a stand-up event. So it's cocktail food walked around and then there are um, food stations. So basically three food stations which are cooked in front of you by chefs. So imagine a big paella pan uh, cooked in front of you and you can smell it and it's served in front of you. It is a bit more than this traditional sort of, um, you know, alternate drop. So it's a, a different way to do it, which works really well, I think, for, for this place. These are three really cool venues for you to consider. So why not jump in your car and go check them out? Today's show has helped you or a loved one about to tie the knot. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time.